Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Sniper Photography. My name's Glenn Samuel, and thank you for joining me. I hope you're all fighting fit and well in these trying times. Look, today I want to talk to you about a subject which, which or a question which I see pop up on social media every now and again. And that question is put to uh, people uh, that post their images or photographs to the social media platforms, and that is, do you sell your images? Or it's one person asking uh, the so-called photographer, I really like your photograph you posted the other day, could I buy it from you? Now the problem starts for the actual person that took the image or the photographer. And that problem is they don't know how to sell their images. They don't know how to price them or even where to get them printed. But before I give you the answer to that situation, let me take you back 20, 25 years ago. 25 years ago, mobile phones weren't as good as they are today. The photos you could take with those phones were, well, pretty ordinary, to say the least. Now, a very, very long time ago, I was selling 25 to 30 prints a week. And the reason for that is, is because there was no competition such as mobile phones. But I'll, I'll allude to mobile phones in a moment. Stepping forward to today, photography isn't seen as being a real professional um, thing to do. It's not rated highly like it was all those years ago. All those years ago, um, photographers were commanding big money. Uh, 25 years ago, you could get $8,000 for shooting a wedding. These days, you're lucky to get $800 because photography is not seen as being serious. And that's why print sales are no longer the number one uh, area for creating revenue for yourself or income. For me, my print sales equate to only 5% of the general income um, earned through my photography. I make my money in photography in other ways. Um, so selling prints really isn't a big point for me. I do sell them but it's not the highlight. Now, getting to the question of can I buy one of your prints, uh, the people or the person that has taken that photograph, they really don't know where to start. Now, first up, with any transaction, especially when it comes to a business transaction, and quite frankly, that's what it is, you need to know your cost of goods or your cost of services or the COGS, C-O-G-S, the cost of goods. Now, what you need to find out is, one, what size print does the prospective buyer uh, need? What are they after? Uh, do they want it framed or canvas, glass, polished aluminium? There's lots to it. Now, we'll keep it simple for this video today. They just want a normal print. Now, most people buy a size we call an A3, which is a nice size for any uh, given wall in any home. Here lies another problem. One of the reasons why print sales have dropped off because these modern day homes have an open plan living areas. They don't have many walls. So the display space has decreased. Hence, that's why print sales have dropped right away. Not saying that print sales are any good. Print sales are good. If you're happy to sell one, two, three prints a month, I'm very happy for you. Keep going. But to price an image, you need to know the cost of printing that image and then putting a markup on it, in other words, a percentage. So my suggestion to people out there that have been asked for the very first time, do you sell your images and can I buy them from you? Find out how much it's going to cost you to print an image, say an A3, and then on top of that, to cover yourself, to make a little bit of a profit and uh, to cover shipping costs or postage, I look at between 25 and 30% markup on top of the cost of the print. So if the print's going to cost you $40 to have produced from a printer, add 25 to 30% on top, and there's your sell price. There'll be a little bit of money in the end for you. Um, not much, but there will be a little bit of money there for you. It's even better if you can personally deliver the image yourself to cut down on the shipping costs. 
but sometimes that is unavailable to do. So basically find out your cost of your print and then add 25 to 30%. But selling prints is what I call a very, very slow burn. Um, you won't, probably won't make much money out of it. There are other ways of making money with your photography, which I'll put in another video at another time. But selling prints is a really, really slow burn, especially these days. But if you are intent on selling some of your images because it makes you feel good and it gets your name out there, I suggest you go right ahead. You've got all my, you've got 100% support from me. But remember, find the cost of your printing and add the 25 to 30% on top of that printing cost. Now, when it comes to printing, I suggest you keep away from those big box stores that sell furniture and fridges and electronic appliances. Keep away from them. Leave them for the people that take photos on their phones to go get them printed out through their one machine. I suggest you find a professional printing lab and form a professional business relationship with either the owner or the person that's responsible for, for, for printing your images. Um, that way you've got the final say before you actually charge and send it out to the person that is wanting to buy your print. So a couple of things here. Find a good printer, get to know them, and that way you've got the final say on the final print. Then you pay them. Second thing is put your markup of 25 to 30% as a guide. That should cover your costs of printing, uh, transportation such as delivery, shipping, postage, and a little bit of money in the end to go into your pocket. So that's what you really have to think about. To successfully sell prints, it takes a lot of work and a lot of time. As I said just a moment ago, it's a very, very slow burn. So not much money to be made in selling prints. Um, you need to sell quite a lot of them to make any sort of reasonable sort of money from that um, part of your photography. But if you're happy to sell one, two, three a month, good luck to you. I'm very pleased and happy for you and you have my support. If you need any more um, information on this particular subject, um, you can contact me via here on YouTube. Um, our new website has now been launched I had to rebuild it during the first uh, COVID uh, lockdown. It has now been uh, finalised and it is up on the uh, internet now. I'll put the link to my website at the bottom of this video. You can contact me through there and I'm only too pleased to help you uh, sell prints if you need that, um, need that assistance. So that's it for another episode of Sniper Photography. Um, thank you for joining. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and the bell next door so you don't miss anything that I post. So until next time, thanks for watching Sniper Photography. I'm Glenn Samuel and as I always say, be nice to yourself, family and friends, but most of all, you keep shooting. Bye for now.